Hi guys, it's me, Charmaine. I just wanted to come in and say hello. Thank you for joining. I hope you guys are subscribed, and if not, you should be. Today we're gonna be going over my get on ready with me. So basically, what I do to remove all of this on my face. As you can tell, we're in a different background. We're currently in Whistler. Super excited about that. And everyone's asleep, and I thought, why not? I got nothing else to do. I have the bath ready to go after, but first let's remove my face. I'm not washing my hair today and also I forgot to bring a hair tie so this headband is kind of all I got, you know, so let's get into it. Starting with um, my favorite product which is the Bioderma Micellular Water and I brought some cotton buds of my own. So I just kind of put on a lot, a generous amount and I kind of start under the eye because Whenever I remove makeup from under my eyes, I feel like that's where I concentrate the most foundation or where there is the most buildup, also around my nose. As you can see, this is a whole like Mulan moment. Like literally my face is so naturally red. I may have to look in the mirror from time to time because I can't really see on camera if I missed any spots and I actually really want to ensure that I remove all of this makeup. Usually I have to use like two of these to do both of my face, both sides of my face, so just throwing that away and then I kind of go back in and take some more. Again, under the eyes, I kind of let it soak in because you want to be gentle with your under eye area or anywhere around your eye. I go over the eyelid like so, and then as well as the parameters of my face. So on the other side, I like to make sure that I'm outlining my whole face because I put a lot of contour on there. And sometimes I miss those areas or around the nose. As well as the inner corner of the eye. So this is what my face looks like. After I remove all the makeup, I know very scary, but also kind of like a dark, darker eye version of myself. I like to go in again for a third one. I know like we're very excessive, but I like making sure like all my makeup has been removed. As you can see, there's still a lot of product coming off on the perimeter of my face. So that's why it looks like all your makeup is gone, but honestly it could not be. You just need to go over. I like going over till I don't find any makeup on my face. Even though I know that we're gonna go over with a cleanser, I like making sure that everything my face I don't know I feel like also this product is really gentle on my skin and also doesn't irritate it currently I feel like I've been stressed so I've been breaking out as well so we'll try to tackle that today now on to the second step after I finish cleansing with the water I try to find um, a face wash that I use to cleanse my face I don't know if I've packed one I'm literally looking at everything I packed and I'm like did I not bring a face cleanser? Because that is really embarrassing. And also at the same time, that is the perfect time to then open my London Drugs beauty box in order to see if I got anything that could cleanse my face. Okay, I am back. I forgot to bring cleanser, which is kind of a big fail, but I got this sample from Waso, Wasu? from Shiseido, it's one of their brand products and they gave me a cute sample. It is their quick gentle cleanser. Apparently the primary product is honey. We're gonna try it out because we got nothing else to work with. So I don't know how much you put on. I kind of like put that much amount and I kind of like to lather my face even though she told me you didn't really need to use water to activate it because I know some products you need water in order to activate it on your skin. I like cleansing my face in sections. There's this bottom half and then afterwards I go in 
and then another squeeze for the top part for my forehead. I feel like that way I ensure that I'm getting full coverage of my face because sometimes I feel like I don't spread the product evenly but if you separate it into these three sections it's pretty hard to miss anything. Because actually, oh, she fell down for a second and she's back. But um, basically what I was saying is that I use um, a contact sponge and I usually use the coldest water because I like ensuring my pores are closed and all that. And then I go over my whole face with it to cleanse off any product. And then I squeeze it out. That's kind of how I do it. Let me move this because I feel like it's now in a weird angle and I'm going to be sideways. So yeah, you can see all of my stuff here. I'm just going to move this down all the computer stuff that I thought I would be charging with you. So get a heart sponge, some water. So once that's complete, um, I kind of let my face sit like this, I put this away, put it back in its little plastic bag, and then with a small towel, I like to pat my face dry. So we're going to start off with the first step for my skincare, I like to do is use a toner, I'm using Supple Preparation Facial Toner. I quite like it because it makes my face supple as it describes in its title. So I kind of like lather a lot on. And then go in like so. Like I always try to lift my skin up whenever I'm doing my skincare. Also I feel like I've been breaking up but I think maybe it's because I have had a lack of sleep for the past couple of days, so my skin just got really angry at me. So if you guys are wondering what's a great tip for skin, I really, really still believe in good sleep. And then second thing I like to use afterwards is a serum. This is the C Pharma Day Serum by El Drunk Elephant. I kind of just squirt on my face because I feel like that way, well actually no, that was a fail. That way I don't waste any product and you can kind of distribute to all areas of the face as desired. Let's use a bougie purchase like this one is, I feel like it's expensive but I feel like when I stopped using it and I tried to find other substitutes it wasn't the same so this is me just trying it out. And then the next step I like to do is eyes. Like I know it's weird, but apparently if you want your eyes to be hydrated, you should do it right after your toner or serum before um, it gets too thick. I'm currently using the Fresh Black Tea Firming Eye Serum. I know it's a bit excessive to have like a serum for your eyes, but I feel like you can't start too early. And also like, I look like I always have such dark circles, especially for lashes or even without makeup. The biggest difference I have for makeup is my dark circle, so I try to alleviate them as much as possible. And then the next thing I do is go in with the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentration, so it's a cream by Fresh. It's a bit thicker in consistency because the serum is like a gel, and then this one it pairs a bit more like a cream, so I just take Like never drag down on your skin. I feel like every girl knows this, like unless you want to get more wrinkles, just always drag up. And then doing the same thing on the other side. Just drag up with your ring finger because your ring finger is the most gentle. I don't know, every time I feel like I say these things, I feel like everyone knows this already. But just in case you didn't know that, even though I feel like everyone's pretty much educated on this boat here of the internet. 
Okay, so the next item I use is an essence, and I'm using it by Cosar X. It's the snail one. And I did stop using it because I tried to use some other essences from other brands I was gifted, but I feel like this one is like such a hydrating gel. Like, one pump can literally cover half of my face, and I feel like it really does lift my skin and really hydrate it right away. So, definitely feel like it's doing something because in the morning I don't feel like I have as much itchy areas or like dry patches. I just feel like my skin is hydrated and happy. Okay, and I'm taking some more because I have a huge pimple area and I feel like that usually means it's very dry and irritated so then it causes an angry pimple to occur. Usually whenever I have dry spots or my skin is very itchy, I feel like it just creates like angry pimples. Like it's not an actual pimple, but it's like an angry, like irritated pimple. That made no sense, but I hope you understood that. Okay, so the next step after Essence, I think we're on the fourth or fifth step, is um, Emulsion. I'm using the one by Papa Recipe. I feel like it's kind of like a hydration booster before your actual day or night cream and I really recommend it because I feel like my skin's pretty dry. Like I feel like after switching out products or like putting on less products because my friend sometimes thinks I like put on too much skincare. Like especially I feel like when I post this video people are going to be like you use a lot of skincare like you're pretty heavy handed and I feel like I'm using this amount because if I use any less, my skin's not gonna be fully hydrated and covered, and then it's gonna be irritated. So I have to put on a lot more in order for my face to be moisturized. In terms of emulsion, I don't know if she's doing anything this one, but I know that Papa Recipe and Honey is known for like specifically hydrating. So that's why I quite like this one. And then finally, I go in with my night cream. This one's super hydrating and super thick, but it doesn't feel as thick, you know what I mean? It's by Kiehl's. It's the Creme Ultra Facial Cream. Apparently, it's more hydrating than its previous one. They revamped it, and I kind of just take on top of the lid. I just kind of like loop it all over my face. I like how it's very cooling. I also like to put a lot of stuff on my neck because you gotta hydrate and protect your neck. So avoid touching my lashes. I feel like this is a routine or the way I suction my face off when I apply skincare is in order to not touch my eyelashes if you guys have noticed I have extensions. And because my skin is irritated, I can still feel she's very irritated and very angry. I'm just gonna take a lot and then kind of just like plop it on top. Like this kind of looks silly. But whenever I put a lot of cream on in very irritated areas, I feel like they're not as angry. Also, I feel like because we're in Whistler, my skin's gotten a lot more dry. So I'm just going to put on more around here. Because whenever I finish putting on my skincare, I kind of leave it. And if I feel certain areas are more drying right away, I layer on more because it's going to break out if I don't put on. So that's why I feel like a lot of people think I use a lot of skincare, but I feel like it's just my skin telling me it needs more and I kind of just listen to her and I followed her and she's been doing well every time I listen to my skin, so that's kind of the way I do it. And ta-da! We are ready to go to the bath now. I like doing my face before I jump into the bath because I'm just going to chill and all that and I don't like sitting in a bath with makeup, so I thought I might as well do it way and we are ready to just relax now and I'm just going to chill in the bath, scrub away all my sorrows, let my face marinate and then go to bed and then tomorrow's another day. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy yourself and have a good day.